Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make some realistic plaster walls inside Samson's Painter with a technique that I'm going to show you. So let us begin. I wanted to use my room for demonstration. So I used a measuring tape to get the accurate dimensions of my wall. And of course this is not necessary but it's a good practice to work with real life scales. So, I did it anyway. Then after measuring, I started modeling the wall with the help of the measured add-on, which made the modeling step a lot easier. When that was done, all I had to do was unwrap the model and then open Painter. But before we do that, let me just explain what we want to do. So the goal is to have this exposed plaster underneath our texture, which adds, well, a lot of realism to it. Wow. It's just like real life, man. What the? For doing that, we first need some pictures of exposed plaster. And there are two ways of approaching it. The first way is to take your camera or phone and photograph it on your own. And the second way is to just download some from unknown places like textures.com. I choose to take the pictures myself. After that, I had to straighten them up. So I imported them into Lightroom and did some straightening. After I was done with Lightroom, I headed into Photoshop to turn our images into alpha maps. First, go ahead and make a new canvas with a resolution of 1080 by 1080, with the background color set to black. Now you can import your images into your project. Now when they're imported, you can go ahead and select the plaster with a quick selection tool. You can also alt and left click on any part that you don't want to select. Now that everything is selected, click on the layer and press Ctrl J to duplicate the selected area. Now we can drag the layer that we created on our black canvas. Then what we want to do is that we want to turn this into a solid white color. And we do that by going into the image tab, adjustments, hue saturation and bringing the lightness amount all the way up. Now, as you can see, we have a map that contains a value from black to white. The darker values mean that it's deeper and the wider values mean that it's higher. But this could also be inverted, which I will show you in a second. But we have to do one important thing before going any further, and that is to add a bit of blur. The reason that we do that is that if we don't, the edges are going to be hard and intense which you may want in some cases, but for our job, it's better to add that blur in. For adding blur, you just go on the filter tab, blur, Gaussian blur, and set it to a fairly low amount. We don't want it to be so blurry that we lose detail. Now, all you have to do is to save it as a PNG and open Substance Painter. Oh, and wait, if the things that we did here are a little too much for you, I provided some of these maps for you to download from the link in the description. So you can do that if you want. Now we are finally ready to open Substance Painter. So go ahead and make a new project. I'm going to change your view for resolution to 2K. And also for this box that says Compute Tangent Space Per Fragment, you don't need to really care about it as long as you're not using either Unreal Engine or Unity. For Unreal, you need to check this box and for Unity, you need to uncheck it. Now, let's select our model and press OK. We need two textures for our job. One is going to be the paint on a plaster and the other one is going to be the plaster itself. I use Quixel but you can use any asset library that you want. Let's start by importing our paint texture by clicking on this plus icon and then pressing on add resources. Now you want to go where you download your textures, then select all the maps and then click on open. And also, this is really important, make sure that you select all of them and where it says undefined, change it to texture. Now let's turn them into material. We do that by adding a fill layer and then putting each texture map in their appropriate slot. Also, change your scale if needed. Now, let's do the same thing for our plaster. And 
and finally import our alpha maps, which goes the same way as usual. But this time, instead of importing it as a texture, we import it as an alpha. Now that everything is under our fingertips, we can start. First, let's add a fill layer, then isolate all the channels except the hot channel. Here, you can change if you want the things to go inward or outward. In our case, we want it to go inward, so we change it to the least amount, which is minus 1. Then, add a black mask. Now, for some reason, I call this layer cracks, so just ignore that. After making the mask, you want to double click on one of the alpha maps to turn it into a brush. Before painting, make sure that these sliders are set to zero. Also, change the angle of the brush if needed. Then paint as much as you want. Just paint one for now. We can also change the intensity from the height slider. Now what we want to do is to have the plaster where we painted with our alphas. As you can see, we have a mask that shows where we actually painted them. So what you can do is to copy that mask and then paste it into our plaster layer. And it works as expected. But keep in mind that if you add any changes to the height mask, you need to again copy and paste it into your plaster mask. Now we can export it and have a realistic looking plaster ball. With all that said, have a nice day, bye, see ya.